Well, hello there, fishing friends. And if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to show you how to catch the new rare fish that were introduced when they released the Japan DLC 2. Um, there's going to be uh, a new rare that's going to be in uh, DLC 1 that's also in DLC 2. And then there's another rare freshwater. And these are going to be the freshwaters today. Um, there's another rare freshwater that's um, in Japan DLC 2. So there's two of them. Uh, there's one that's in both Japan DLC 1 and 2, and then there's an extra one in Japan DLC 2. So I'm going to show you how to catch both of those today. Uh, before I do that, I want to remind you that in my description of every video, I do have links to my spreadsheets. In those spreadsheets, I have um, tips and tricks that uh, sometimes I don't have a video out yet for it. Um, so don't forget to take a look at those spreadsheets. Um, they, they help a lot. They have all the color codes. And um, yeah, and I had, like I said, I have little notes in there, and that's actually what I use when I'm doing the research on these fish. Is I use my spreadsheets, and I research these fish and try to figure out the easiest way to catch these. So don't forget to use those spreadsheets. Also, if you haven't done so already, if any of my videos have ever helped you, or if my spreadsheets helped you, take a second and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot, and so it helped me build my channel uh, just by hitting that subscribe button. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, one other thing, you have a limited time. Uh, if you haven't done so already, and if it's before, I believe it is January 13th or something like that. I'm, I can't remember, it's in the news. Um, if you're one of those people that skip the news when you get into the room, don't skip the news. Uh, read through it. Uh, if you haven't done so already, click coupons and enter happy holidays. This will unlock a free fishing pole uh, I'll show you right here, fishing tackle, you got your saltwater float rod uh, fishing pole. And you do have to be under saltwater to see it, and it's going to be right down here. It's just like um, if you got the Japan one uh, extra fishing pole that was uh, lure fishing, it's just like that where it has unlimited durability, so you never have to replace it. Same with the, the reel here, unlimited durability, you'll never have to replace it. And it's the same as the A. So you got a free A rod and reel just by entering that code. It also helps out a lot, especially when you're trying to level up. Like when I was leveling up Japan 2, uh, I used my, my free A rod and reel um, to catch the sharks to level up faster. So it helps a lot when you have that A rod and reel so that you can catch the bigger fish. All right, so let's get started. We're going to go into the fish here. And we're going to go down here to, oh, let's get rid of the U.S. West so we can find it faster. So we have the three spined stickleback. Now this is found on Japan DLC 1, I believe it is location 2, and on Japan DLC 2 in location 4. Yes, I believe so. I might have them backwards, but 2 in 1, 4 on uh <laughs> we'll find out here in a second. So this is the one that you can catch in both locations. So we're going to catch that guy first. Um, this one has been driving some people nuts, and it's actually really easy to catch if you know how to do it. And then the next one we're going to be catching is the Japanese eel. And that is going to be uh, on Japan DLC 2. So let's go ahead and head over to Japan DLC 1. And let's see... Part one, is it in two, is it in four? Okay, so this one is actually in location four. So on Japan DLC part one. So we're gonna go to four. So I did have him backwards. All right, so let's make sure that he's in there. Yep, there he is, he's right there. Three spine stickleback. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be catching him with a live bait and we're gonna be using crawfish. now. If you're one of those people that you have to play on expert and you don't want to, you know, use the depth finder or any of that, have fun. <laughs> you're going to be looking for this guy for a long time. Um, I'm going to show you why. Watch, it'll show, it'll prove me a liar, but um, I always catch these guys on hard. You can also use normal if you want to use normal, that's fine. Um, but to find these the easiest, if you're, if you're just hunting for this one fish and you just want to catch it and it's driving you nuts, don't play it on expert. Go to hard and grab your line 
put that thing on crawfish, okay? Now what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for a medium fish, uh, no, a small fish, actually, on a crawfish. Um, that's going to be green. As you can see, we do not have any green. And you're going to only have one green fish with a crawfish. So then we're going to reset. Expert back to hard. Look for a green fish. Don't have it. Expert back to hard. Now I have done this up to like 40 and 50 times trying to find this fish. That's why I say if you're going to be doing this on expert, have fun. You're going to be doing it for a long time because it's rare for a reason. It is rare. <laughs> so, yep. Going to be doing hard expert until we find a green fish. And I'm going to go ahead and do my, my refreshes until I get that green fish up there. And then, uh, and then I'll show you how easy it is to catch. Okay, there it is. Uh, it took me 70 resets. So it was literally, it was exactly 70 resets to find that guy. So that's why I say, um, yeah, don't try to do this on expert, especially on Japan one. You're going to be doing this for a very long time. <clears throat> so yeah, just, just go ahead, use the fish finder. Try to find that small green fish on a crawfish, and yeah, you shouldn't have any problems catching it after that. So that one looks like it's on a bottom depth, and let's take a look here. I believe it is the all three depths, yep. So um, you'll be able to adjust your line by the, you know, if it's dark or if it's a lot brighter or if it's darker like that. So that one looks fairly dark. It looks like it's on a bottom depth. So I'm gonna go ahead, using my new, let's see if this, nope, this is not because we're in fresh water. So let's see, I think I'm on but on B. So the reason I use B is I don't want to cast all the way out here. So I always use B when I'm in freshwater because that puts you right here. And then you can just reel in a count of five, probably about seven or eight, because this is every five. So if you hit here with your B rod, you got five, 10, 15, and then you're done, all right? So I'm gonna bring it in about eight or nine, so to get about right there. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down. Oop, accidentally switched over to a different bait. Oh, and I was way off to the left. That's better. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead and let it drop down. There it is, instant red line. Tiny little splash. It is a very tiny fish crazy that you can catch this on the crawfish because your crawfish is actually bigger than the actual fish itself but there you go there's a three spine stickleback all right so go ahead and keep that guy and we'll head over to japan 2 and i want to show you japan 2 we'll catch the same guy on location 2 i want to go ahead and catch it on this location as well just to see if it takes as many, there he is right there, as many counts. I'm thinking that it's a lot less to catch it on Japan 2. Uh, this is where I've usually caught it with about 40, 30 to 40 resets. Sometimes it's quicker, sometimes it's only 10 or 15, but I'll go ahead and catch it on here. Uh, also in the description down below, if you ever need to just skip to another fish, like you've already caught this one, you just need to catch the eel, um, there's timestamps down there. You can just click on the next one and, and go straight to wherever you want to go. So it's another thing. If you go and always look in the description um, to see all the little things down there that I, that I put for you. So let me go ahead and bring this back up. Look at that. First thing, there he is right there. So this one will be easy. And he looks like he's probably in the middle on that one. So I'm going to leave my pole just like it is. My line right in the middle. I'm going to cast out. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to hit right there because I'm using my B rod. I'm going to bring it in five, six, seven, eight, about eight, about the same that I did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let it drop. Turned red instantly. There we go. Alrighty. We caught it twice. There we go. Yeah, he's a lot easier to find on uh, Japan DLC 2. 
I have found that I don't have to refresh as many times. So if you want to catch a bunch of them and you have Japan DLC 2, jump here, uh, location 2, and then you'll be able to catch a lot more. So now we're going to go ahead and go to location 5, Japan DLC 2. All right, and this is where we're going to catch our last rare for the day. This is going to be the Japanese eel. Now to catch this one, we're going to use the grasshopper. This is the only fish on here that's going to be green on a grasshopper. There are no other fish, as you can see, that like the grasshopper. So the easiest way to find him, again, using the fish finder. Don't try to do these on expert if you don't have to. And we're going to jump over here to the grasshopper. And we're going to be looking for a green fish on the grasshopper. And there's nothing out there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a reset. And I'll bring it back after I get a green fish. And I'll count out my resets to see how many it took. All right. There it is. Right there. Took eight resets. So that wasn't too terrible. Um, it's right out front. So about right where that swirl is at. In fact, I can use that as a reference. That's probably one of these guys here. It's kind of over to the side. Um, but I don't have to cast all the way out. I'm just going to try to cast just right around that reference point there. And actually, he looks like, I believe these, this one's on the bottom. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's in the middle and the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to the bottom. Let's go. That's probably that. Right there. That's probably pretty close. Yep, there it goes. Turned red. And it's the only green one out there. It's going to be the only one that turns it red instantly. So I don't have to worry about catching those other two that were right next to it. Plus they were on the top and he's on the bottom, so... a little longer to bring in than that little bitty fish. <laughs> eh, I got him tired out. Little snap there. here. There we go. Hey, and it's my personal best. Only caught three of these, but they're pretty easy to catch. There you go. Japanese eel. Now you know how to find it. I can go out there and fill up your fish tank full of them. Uh, next, I'll be doing the Rares for saltwater on Japan DLC 2, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and record that one next uh, today, so I'm going to be releasing these back to back. So if you need to just catch the saltwater ones, you can watch that video. If you need to catch the freshwater ones, you can watch this video. Or if I, I recommend watching all of my videos. <laughs> so again, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up if this video helped you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.